For this lesson on trigonometric ratios, we're going to learn how to label sides and we're also going to learn a little bit about angle notation. First thing we do when we label a side is we look at a right angled triangle and it must be a right angled triangle when you do this and you look at what side is opposite the right angle. And the side opposite the right angle is known as the hypotenuse. Usually we don't write hypotenuse, usually we just write the letter H on it. Okay, next you'll notice that we have a marked angle and we've labelled it as theta. And if we go opposite this angle to this side over here, this is called your opposite side. And usually when we label it, we just label it with the letter O. And finally, the third side is called the adjacent side, which we label with an A. And adjacent means next to. This is the side that is next to the angle labeled theta. Okay, so that's how to label a right angle triangle. Now we're going to look at some angle notation. So usually angles are labelled in degrees such as 37 degrees or you could even have a decimal such as 37.5 degrees. Now angles work a lot like the minute hand on a clock. 37.5, which is the same as saying 37 and a half degrees, is also equivalent to 37 degrees and 30 minutes. Just like on a clock, 30 minutes is the same as half of an hour. Okay, so 30 minutes with an angle is the same as saying half of a degree. Usually when we write them down, we, we don't write minutes, we use an apostrophe. We say 37 degrees and the symbol for minutes is a single apostrophe. So we've got other decimals that can be represented using this uh, degrees, minutes and also seconds notation. Let's take, for example, 37.25 degrees. Now, 0.25 represents a quarter. And if you think a quarter of an hour is 15 minutes, so this would really be 37 degrees and 15 minutes. So what if we had an angle that was a bit more complicated? For example, let's say we have 37.625 degrees. What would that change into if I put it in degrees, minutes, and seconds. Well, this is where we want to use a calculator to do all the work for us. We're going to type it in 37.625, and I'm going to press the equal sign, and then you'll notice there's a button on the calculator DMS, which stands for degrees, minutes, and seconds. If I go second function DMS, it will convert it into degrees, minutes, and seconds. So this converts to 37 degrees, 37 minutes, and 30 seconds. You'll notice the seconds has a double apostrophe. So we'll write that down, 37 degrees, 37 minutes, and 30 seconds. You notice that when we converted these, we used a special button on our calculator, which had DMS on it, standing for degrees, minutes, and seconds. Some calculators have a different button that does the same thing. The other one that I've seen has like a full stop, uh, which is actually the degree symbol, and then a few little commas after it representing minutes and seconds. Anyway, that concludes our video just showing you how to label the sides of a triangle and just with a quick introduction on how we write down angles using degrees, minutes, and seconds. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.